so the next thing that we want to do over here is to add a button navigation bar over here so let us try to add a two two tab over here so we can select uh, navigate between the two tab over there so for that we'll go to the home screen and inside this home screen let's go below this floating action button and we have a app option to add a button navigation bar and button navigation bar let us add button navigation um, bar why i cannot find it so button b o t t button navigation bar right so this is the one that we need and this one has the items and the items are the list of the if you see the list of the bottom navigation bar so we need to pass let's say a const and this needs a list so bottom button uh, navigation bar item right so we need this one and we can pass in the icon label active icon background color and all of those stuff so let's go and add our icon over here and for icon i will just say icon and icons uh, i c o n s icons dot let's pass a list and let's call this one okay so that's the list should be fine and the next is uh, we can also add the active icon which means that whenever it is active uh, it will show a different icon so icon and the icons right so i c o n s icons dot the let's say a list underscore the we have a let's say uh, something like outline so it, we can have a different icon over there and finally we will add a um, sorry not the list level it should be of a label so label is a text so i'll just call it that uh, employee or something uh, you can give a different name so just copy this section right i need to create a two over here we need to have at least two over there so just paste it over here so currently we have passed over here a two button navigation bar item and we just need to change uh, something like uh, this is a employee stream and we will be using this one as a future right so we have a two future and the employee stream so that should be fine and, and then we will add some of the like uh, background color so colors that the blue and i can pass the set color let's say something like uh, 300 that should give us the some um, light color over there and let's go and add some other options like uh, i can just say uh, selected uh, font size or icon theme or we just say selected item color so whenever the item is selected we will say uh, colors dot the white right so whenever the item is selected and unselected item then we have an unselected item color that should be of a colors that we can just say a white uh, sorry white and select something a different color all right so we have a selected and unselected uh, label this will be item color and also we can just so uh, show and hide the label right so so the selected item labels to the false which will hide our um, the label whenever we have selected that icon and so the unselected label should be let's say true and then we have to add other option over here like uh, we can add a current index that we need to pass in the int so let's go on to the top and uh, here we will add a one let's say uh, int type and an uh, index which is of equals to default value of a zero and i will go down over here and pass that index over here okay so we got that index and on tab uh, on tab it has a sorry we need to go down and on tab right so whenever we tap that particular icon or the navigation item what we want to do so this will pass in the the type of the function of an int so we need to let's see our value over here and let us write the set state over here we want to set the state of the index that we have and whatever it is selected we will get the value to let's say a value that we are getting 
okay so that should uh, be our uh, let's try to run our application and uh, that should give us the bottom navigation bar right so we can select it and uh, when that's working fine right so when we select it it is have a different color and also the the label is not showing and or when we select it just the thing is that we need to change this particular screen so we should have a two screen over here right? or a two page over here so when we select it we should see a different so currently it's not uh, doing anything so what we have to do is uh, i think we need to uh, separate two to two page so uh, what i will do is i will just duplicate this one instead of creating a whole new things just paste it over here and just rename this one to something uh, like uh, employ employee and future so sorry this should be why i cannot rename it it should be of a employee and one is of a future because we are using the future and let's say we will uh, just go and refactor of code this one and for here we don't need to show all of this stuff right so we don't have to have a floating action button uh, let's try to uh, remove this one for now we are not going to use this one let's, okay so i messed up already so let's remove this and then the bottom navigation so i think that should be fine so let us remove that one and uh, let's go this is our employee list of a uh, future right and we will just change the name to the employee employee uh, future over here right that should be fine and yeah i think we don't need an index too over here we don't have an index over there and i think we don't have any error that's look fine and we just need to change the screen name to employee future and uh, employee future screen and just copy everywhere that we have to replace it over here too and here too and here too so let's refresh uh, change this one too and here too right so we have to replace it everywhere yeah so i think that should be fine so we got that employee future screen i'll just copy this to and duplicate it to the uh, another one right so let's um, rename this one to something different and that should be of a stream because we want to get a stream so s uh, sorry it should be of a s t r e a m dot the dot file okay so we just have to change over here future not the s t r e a m stream and let us uh, we just have to rename everywhere so uh, let's rename it and here so employee not the future so it should be of a stream and here too right so we need to change stream and here we need to replace it okay so we got a two screen already right so the future of a uh, stream and the future so we have to change this one to this is a stream right so we have to change it to stream now currently we are just get, getting the same record i think that should be fine and uh, let's go on over here and we need to pass in the list of the page over here so let's go on to the top over here and create a page right so we need a, a list of the page so final and i'll just say page which is of equal to we need to pass in over here the list of the page one is of the uh, employee future screen right and another one we still need to pass is the uh, employee so e m p l o y employee a stream page right so yes screen okay so we got that too and now i think we will make it as a const over here 
Okay, so we got the page over here, right? So what we need to do is we need to refresh, um, remove all of this from our body. So this is not needed over here. We have already removed this section, right? So just remove this. And I think I need to remove this one too. And in the body, we will pass in the page, right? Page dot uh, page, and we will pass in the. Yeah, let me go on to the. Let me arrange it properly. So here we need to pass in the index, right? So. So that should now load our page with the index. So if I go and hard reload, and now we get um. Okay, so we have a two, two bar over here, right? So that should be fine. We can just remove it. So future and it's just not uh, not changing. Why it if we have a future, right? So what we have to do is I think um, we can remove the particular. Let's say let's go on over here, and I think we can remove the app bar from here. Uh, we don't need to have a app bar over here i think so let's try to remove the app bar for now and let's try to reload it and okay we got that one and yeah okay i think it should be working for now but uh, what we can do is if we want to have employee stream and if we want to have an app bar then uh, we have to remove the app bar from here okay so let us remove and let us try to reload it okay employee future and yeah i think that that is not actually changing our world this particular uh, employee future so let us try to fix that one and uh, let me check what we did something wrong over here okay man here we have uh, the same screen right so we made a mistake over here so it should be of a stream right so stream screen just import that one and let us try to run again so we just made a mistake over there i think so let us uh, change our yeah we have an employee stream and future so that's look fine right so we just made a mistake over here and uh, yeah so that should be fine and we can still have some more things let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day